hello and welcome back to our channel electronics on wheel so today is we are diving into a one very fascinating topic and yet crucial that is our car starting system so this particular topic we have covered already but we have covered car starting system without ecu that circuit we have explained that what are the components and how they are functioning but today we will see car starting system with ecu so what is the difference between without ecu and with ecu these are the two things we will see today so many of you have requested us through the comment section and through the telegram as well so those who have not joined the telegram they can join the telegram channel electronics on wheel automobile engineering i will give you the link in the description box so let's start so we will see the starting system wiring diagram so first uh, before jumping to the wiring diagram the goal of the starting system is very simple to start the car so suppose if you take the example of charging system so charging system objective is to charge the battery right so similarly the goal of the starting system is very simple to bring the engine to the life so that it can sustain itself right but to achieve this particular function you know that multiple components need to be work perfectly in harmony so let's see that what are those components and how they work with each other so first you have to think about that what are the inputs in that so first thing like suppose when you start your vehicle so ignition switch is the one which is going to be used first who is initiating the operation right then you have the battery battery is something that is the powerhouse that is supplying the power or energy to the system and one more thing this is the only power source in your vehicle when you are starting your vehicle apart from battery you do not have anything which is supplying the power then you have to make sure the some of the safety right for safety you have the neutral switch it makes sure that that your car is in neutral or not and it will show you on the cluster as well so we will see in the output that instrument cluster is used to give the information to the driver that okay your vehicle is in neutral then you have the clutch switch right so clutch switch is another safety guard that ensure that clutch is in, engaged or not in. when you are starting your vehicle and you press the clutch right when you press the clutch then your transmission and your engine flywheel detach with each other right and it happens only in manual transmission in automatic transmission you do not have the clutch switch so what are the output would be so main component responsible to start the engine so first thing is a starter solenoid so whatever arrangement we are doing from the input like ignition switch battery neutral switch clutch switch all these arrangement we are making to give the power to the starter motor so in starter before going to starter motor we have the starter solenoid that is the messenger that passes the power to starter motor and starter motor is that muscle or you can say the main component which crank your engine so how you are going to inform to the driver that makes your sure from the instrument cluster that your vehicle is in neutral or not then engine issue engine brain that ensure everything can go smoothly so we will see how the engine issue plays its role in the starting system so let's see so first we will see the starting system without issue just take a recap of that so we will be having the battery here battery positive battery negative battery negative would be grounded on the body chassis then we are going with the mega fuses and then we will be having the ignition switch so before going to the ignition switch from the this atm switch there might be some secondary fuse as well where we are giving this value like a 30 amps or 40 amps okay then it will go to the ignition switch when you turn the ignition key or press the start button then ignition switch gets activated right it sends a signal to the battery and saying that Hey, I need power this particular ignition switch when this position will come on this start position then what will happen your car will start so ignition switch has different different positions like off accessory on and start so when 
you want to start your vehicle that position would be here if you see the key wise and in circuit wise this position would be here which is going to be connected to your coil and this coil is going to activate this relay and this connection will made and this connection is connected to the starter solenoid first and then starter motor once this connection get made then your starter motor will start and then this starter motor will engage with the engine flywheel and your engine will start so starter motor is used to give the minimum revolution to the engine so that it can be started i hope till now you understood but we have talked about some of the safety feature so starting is very easy right you have the ignition switch then relay and then it is going to connect to the starter motor but when it comes to the safety you have you can't start your vehicle like that you have to see the different uh, other different act as well so suppose you have the clutch switch so i told you that what is the purpose of the clutch switch and in what are the vehicles we have to use the clutch switch then we will be having the neutral switch which makes sure that your vehicle is in the neutral okay so let's erase one time and then i will explain you so from here it will go 12 volt this this battery is 12 volt till here it will be 12 volt okay it will be 12 volt till here this switch will not activate it till the time your current will start flowing right so here it will be a zero volt correct so once till the time and here if i say current i would be something like i1 but here it would be i is equals to 0 correct so till the time this particular switch does not get engaged then it will not make the path for the current once this clutch will be pressed then this path will be made and then you will see that if this neutral switch will also be get close then only and when neutral will neutral switch will be close when your vehicle is in neutral not in gear so when your vehicle is in not in gear then it will be automatically pressed and it will make the path for current to go and then magnetic field around this coil will make and this will get closed once it will close then your starter motor will you know start revolving and giving the minimum rpm to the vehicle if you have still some question that you are not able to understand this functioning of the starting motor you please comment in the comment box so let me just go one more time to explain you so this is the 12 volt battery here you will be having the 12 volt then on this point also you will be having the 12 volt here also you will be having the 12 volt here also you will be having the 12 volt this is my load side which is connected to my starter motor and this will connect only when your relay will get energized through the magnetic field right and when your relay will get energized when you have the path for this particular current to flow it right so suppose i is equals to i1 here here is equal to i is equals to i1 but here you your i will be zero because you do not have the path so till you do not have the path then this magnetic field will also not be generated and this particular contact side or the load side will not also be on because you have this arrangement where this particular switch will be closed only when you have this particular coil get energized and magnetic field will be generated this magnetic field will attract this switch and will close this and make the connection to start the starter motor i hope till here you got understand then when like when this particular switch will get closed and how the starting system will work now coming to the the clutch switch and neutral switch so you already know that we have to give some safety functions or safety features so that your vehicle should not start immediately so that some accident will happen and it will 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 not be safe for the driver right so to make sure that we have to give some safety features so these are the clutch switch and neutral switch make sure that your vehicle is in safe condition
Now you can see some of the connection to the instrument cluster. We give this information as I told you like output. So these signals tells to the driver vehicle is in not neutral condition or it is in neutral condition. If it is in neutral condition, you might have seen many times that N symbol will be reflected on your instrument cluster. But if it is not in neutral condition, then it will not show and clutch switch already as I told you that if you did not press this particular switch then connection will not be made and your vehicle will not start. I hope you understood this basic function when you are not using any issue. You are just working with the clutch switches and relays and starter motor that's all. This is the basic function of a starting system. So this is the same circuit which we have explained but here we have given some of the harness name. So after this wiring diagram creation, you are going to create the 2D diagram. So to create the 2D diagram, you have to divide your harness into different different zones. You can say that IP harness, engine harness, battery harness, then you have body harness. So based on vehicle layout, these harness name are decided and and 2D is created. So we will not discuss much on this. If you want to discuss on how we create the 2D di diagram, you just comment in the comment box. We can uh, make one more video where we will explain everything in detail. So let's see the second case when starting system with the issue. So everything will remain same. The only thing that issue will come in picture. Okay, so your battery is there right then your engine compartment fuse box is there where you will be having some big fuses like 60 amps here you can see then you have the ip fuse and ip fuse which is located you can check below the dashboard and this particular fuse box will be located as i told that that ignition switch will not take much rating then it reduced to 10 amps right then it is going to the battery positive terminal so we have the like different different position lock accessory on start we have already discussed so once this your key will go to the ignition start then your vehicle will start but earlier this uh, this particular wire was going to the starter solenoid directly but now this is not the case uh, now this particular wire is going to the ems ecu gasoline that is nothing but the engine ecu and in engine issue, this is the crank pin which is going to this uh, from the ignition switch to the crank pin in the engine issue. Then this engine issue will be having high signal and the low signal on other end to activate this particular relay. So one side it, it is a coil and other side it is a load. As we have already explained, you can see that particular video where we have where we have explained in detail that what is the function of coil and what is the coil why we are using this relay you can comment in the comment box also that why we are using the relay what is the function and some of the subscriber has asked that sir can you make the video on the interview question so these are the only interview questions right why we are using the starter solenoid why we are using the starter motor Okay, so you have to you have to take the interview question from the these video itself. So most of the interview question would be answered in these video. You can check out these video in detail. If you still have some confusion on the on the interview question and you get some new interview question, you comment in the comment box so that we can create the video on those interview questions and we can we can discuss together right the purpose of this channel is always to help you so this particular high and low signal are used to activate this particular re relay and once the magnetic field across this coil will be generated then this will make the connection and if you see the purpose is same that we have to activate the starter solenoid so this particular wire is going to start a solenoid and this is our starter motor this starter motor they here in starter motor as earlier also I told like there are two three pins is there so pin number one is directly going to the battery but starter solenoid is controlled by the relay and if I ask you the what is the function of the starter solenoid so can you comment in the comment box so starter solenoid is something like a relay it acts as a relay only it directs heavy current from the battery to the starter motor this is the purpose of starter solenoid so the peak current if i talk here it would be like 600 amps 700 amps and depends on the capacity of the starter motor also so 
you can't handle this 700 amps or 600 amps peak current with normal relay like this so we have a specific type of relay connection or starter solenoid which is able to handle these type of peak currents so i hope you have understood here that what is the difference between the starting system with ecu and without ecu so the difference is this particular starting function is controlled by the engine ecu if you see here this is the one connection which is used for the crank and then your relay is controlled by the engine ecu when once the engine ecu will get all the things everything is perfect then only engine ecu is going to activate this relay and your starter motor is going to activate or give the minimum rpm to the engine or solenoid will get activated but you might be having one question here that where is your neutral switch where what's about the fee, safety features so whether we are not taking care of the safety features here that we are not checking whether your vehicle is in neutral or whether your clutch is uh, pressed or not we are checking everything here also and in a more controlled way and more safe with more safety feature when you are using the ecu and how it is using so i told that this ecu this engine issue is going to activate this relay and this relay will not get activated till the time that engine issue is checked everything whether your vehicle is in neutral or not and whether your clutch is pressed fully pressed or not so all these things is checked by the engine issue first and then only it is going to activate this relay so if you want to see this one one particular example so here if you see the engine issue is connected to the gear neutral sensor and this engine issue is checking that whether your vehicle is in neutral or not through this gear neutral sensor once it gives the perfect signaling and it makes sure that your vehicle is in neutral clutch is pressed then only engine issue is going to give the signal to this particular relay which we have discussed here that your starter relay otherwise it will not give the signal to the starter relay to activate it and start your vehicle and how it is programmed so see when your neutral sensor is giving that okay your vehicle is in not in neutral then engine issue is programmed in such a way that it will not give the high and low signal on this particular relay coil i hope you understood if still you did not understood this that how ecu is controlling the relay for the starting system please comment in the comment box i will explain you again on this one question i have here so sometimes you might have seen that you do not have the ignition switch itself so there is a one more issue comes into the picture that is our passive key entry where you can say the keyless entry where your ignition switch itself is going to be removed then what will happen this pke issue will come into the picture and this pke issue is going to give the signal to the engine issue and it is telling to the engine issue that when to start when to not to start suppose here one more safety feature might be added like your vehicle same starting system circuit or wiring diagram can be created in multiple way so we have seen starting system without issue we have seen starting system with issue then we have seen starting system without ignition switch you can see here this one so we have the one a new issue that is our pke switch which is giving or adding the more additional feature or safety features so this is all about the starting system if you still have some question on this please comment in the comment box i will be happy to give you the answer thank you